hey guys welcome back so today i'm going to be doing some white nails as you saw in the um, thumbnail or the quilt design on my pinky i haven't done white nails in a long really long time so i actually got inspired to do these nails off a pick i saw on pinterest well, on the pick they use purple but i decided to use white because i haven't done white nails in a really long time and also it was snowing so i just decided to match with the snow i guess so I'm actually going to do these nails on pressed nails first, then I'll attach them to my nails afterwards because anytime I, I notice anytime I paint my nails directly on my fingers, it's just super messy and, end up, and it ends up not looking that nice. So if I'm just going to start up by painting all the nails white. I'm just going to keep the picture close to me for reference. Tell me you guys, snow or no snow? I like snow from the inside, like I like to look out at the snow from my room. When I'm outside, it's snow, it's just too cold for me. So I'm, after, the, after painting all those nails, I'm going to paint just the first three with the second layer of the white gel polish. I have other plans for the last two nails. After doing that, I'm going to um, go on to the second nail. I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some bling on it. So first, I'm going to apply some top coat. And I'm going to attach the um, gemstones now. I wasn't really sure what design I wanted to go for, so I was just messing around right here.
I didn't really like how this design looked, so I just took off some of the gemstones. That design looks way better. So I just so this is the design I went for and I just went ahead and cured it under the nail lamp. So after that I'm gonna go into the pinky. So I'm gonna try and create that cushion or quilt design. I don't know why people call it a quilt design. It looks more like a cushion to me. So first I'm gonna go ahead and put some top coat all over, all over the nails. So this was this was actually my first attempt at creating this um cushion design, but it didn't go really well. But I later found out how to do it properly. So my plan was just to um, apply some white dip powder all over the um, the uncured top coats. Then I'll just use one of my nail brushes to draw some lines, create those diagonal lines, but that obviously that didn't work out at all. The lines were like so rough. Exactly what I was saying, look how messy that looks. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. at all at all I just went ahead and wiped that all off then I watched a YouTube video on how to do it properly then I just tried then I tried and I retried to do it So the um, new process I learned was that I use these lines to make to create diagonal lines on the nail. Then after that, you put some white nail polish over it or some top coat, whatever. Then you pour the um, dip powder all over it. You just you see what I was doing. Just keep watching. Yeah, I'm just gonna apply some. I just applied some white you nail know, polish all over it, and I poured some um, some of the deep powder on it. So without curing it yet, I took off the um, I took off the lines, those, stri those stripes. This came out looking way better than what I was doing before.
So some of the powder got on the lines, those lines I created, so I just decided to wipe them off with some acetone, just so it looks neater. So I wanted like those diagonal shapes look a little bit thicker, so I just went and applied some of the white top coats over, over the um, diagonal shapes. Not the lines, but just the diagonal shapes. Then I poured some deep powder over them to make them look more like, more thick and more visible. Because they're looking kind of flat. And we know cushions aren't flat. Here's me just pouring some dip powder all over it, and, and as you can see, it's looking way more cushion like. The diagonals are way more thicker now. So, I just went ahead and cured this under my nail lamp. After curing this, I was trying to figure out if I was what to put in between. I was trying to figure out what to put where the um, lines meet. I wanted to use these gemstones, but then like I noticed it was way too big, so I ended up not using them. I ended up using some of my um, silver carrier beads. Those ones fit way better, and they look way nicer. some bling gel to put it where I want to apply the carrier beads.
and I'm just going to apply it onto my nail. So I'm going to go cure this under the lamp. So after that cure, I went ahead with another layer of the mixture. And after this layer, I just added some of the, um, some of the glitter, the powder onto the nail. It looks really nice already. I just love glitter, honestly. So I'm just gonna apply some top coat all over the nail. And I'm gonna go cure it under my nail lamp. So these are what the nails came out looking like. They look so pretty. The quick one though is my favorite. That looks really nice. So what do you guys think about this nail set? So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like a comment and please please subscribe it will, i will really really appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye